Okay, so your geography memory question from the development topic is as follows. Explain two causes of global inequalities. So the command word for this question is explain, as you can see here. So our command word explain, if we break that down, it means why. Okay, so why is something happening or what kind of what it is that is causing it? So our two causes in this question, so it is asking you to give two causes. It's a four mark question, so you need to give one cause for the first mark, then you need to explain why that um, actually causes an inequality to take place. So inequality, that just means um, why one place might be more or why one place might be less developed. So another word for this that we have studied in class is a barrier to development. So something that has stopped a country from being able to develop fully. So on this slide, you can see I've got three different images. Each of these three different images show a different barrier that countries have faced to do with development. So if you feel confident with this exam question, you can pause this clip now and have a go at answering this question. If you're still a little bit unsure, I'm going to go through with you each of these images so we can think about them and how they might be a barrier before you answer this to give you a little bit of extra support. OK, so if you decide to stay on the clip for the extra support. So the first image shows a mountainous area. So the barrier to development here would be something to do with topography or the height and shape of the land. So why is it that an area that is mountainous is going to struggle to develop. So it's going to struggle to improve, so might have little money and a low economy. The second image here, you can see the country of Malawi in Africa. So you can see this country is surrounded by other countries. It doesn't have a coastline. So because this country doesn't have a coastline, something is going to be more difficult in this country, making it less able to develop and less able to increase its economy. OK, so the final image here shows the countries that were held by the British Empire. So the countries that were overtaken by Britain um, kind of hundreds of years ago. So why, if these countries were overtaken by Britain, what happened to these countries that stopped them from being able to develop fully or as quickly as the UK? So all of you should be able to pause this clip now. Have a go answering that question. Remember, it's a four mark question. So you need to give two points and then explain those points fully as to why they stop the country from developing. OK, so if you pause your clip now. Excellent. Welcome back. So we're now going to go through the exam answer on this question. So I have focused on two of the different um, kind of pieces of information here. However, there are many, many other causes of global inequalities um, other than the ones that we looked at on the previous image and also the ones that I've got in front of me now. So the first one, if a country is landlocked, this is a cause of inequalities. So that would be your first mark for stating that if the country is landlocked. So a landlocked country is a country that is surrounded by other countries. It does not have a coastline. So your second mark here is for that explanation. So this causes inequalities because countries that are landlocked find it difficult to trade, reducing the country's GDP. So there's your second mark there for your development of your point. You could have also spoke about here colonialism. So you get a mark for saying colonialism here. You could have mentioned neocolonialism as a barrier to development. So this causes inequalities because countries that are colonialised are exploited for their natural resources. This means that they have less resources to trade, which will reduce their GDP going further, um, going any further, um, looking forward into the future. So this happened during the British Empire. You had countries like um, the UK and other countries that con uh, col colonialised other places across the world. They went to those countries, they took their natural resources, so the gold, tea, workers, um, the slave trade, and then it took those resources to their own country, which meant that that country that was colonialising them got richer. However, our poorer countries became more poor and they couldn't develop any further. So you can also talk here about um, the other issue that we've got, so topography. So in mountainous regions, it's more difficult to develop because you can't build crops, you can't build roads on mountainous environments, 
which means that it's more difficult to trade. Um, you don't have any products to trade, which will reduce the country's GDP. You could also talk about as you increase with altitude, the temperature is going to decrease. Therefore, crops do not grow as readily, reducing the GDP in the country. Um, some other inequalities that you might have mentioned, which haven't been mentioned here. If a country is prone to natural hazards such as earthquakes, hurricanes and so on, they're going to spend more money on their natural defences um, rather than developing their country. You could also talk about um, poor education within your country, meaning that people can't be educated and can't get well-paid jobs. You could mention things like political barriers, such as countries that might have um, dictatorships or um, corruption leading to uneven distribution of wealth. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the clip and found it useful for all your geography revision needs, please hit the like button below. If you want access to more content like this, more revision playlists, more exam technique and feedback, please subscribe to the channel. Regular content will be added and updated to help support you on your GCSE journey.